Hey guys, this is Buddy here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2011 The Game Crew Mode, part number 21. We're going to be doing Talladega and Martinsville in this part. And Talladega is, is kind of a big deal because we're 0 for 3 in restrictor plates. And that's very scary because this season has been dominated by wins. And I think we're going to try to get our 15th win in a row. Some disgusting stat number. But we've, I mean, we've not, not like we've done bad in restrictor plates. We've gotten top fives, but it's just not been a win. Maybe that could change today, I don't know. But uh, 19 laps, uh, same settings and stuff as usual. We're going to get right into qualifying here as Kyle Busch is on the pole. So we'll do that and uh, hopefully we start up front and we can we can get a win. Well, well pole position. Alright, I really didn't think that was going to be a pole lap, but it was. Well, uh, yeah, I, I can't believe how much we got that pole by. I was probably like 6 tenths, 7 tenths over Kyle Busch. It was insane <laughs> so all right well that's good uh we'll get into the pre-race stuff and we'll see what happens is yeah, kyle bush the second uh where's truex truex gotta be somewhere okay not in the top 20 that's good 23rd that's lovely all right let, let's get this over with now now i'm mad <laughs> It's NASCAR's biggest track, the Talladega Super Speedway. It's also its most unpredictable place to race. Hi, everybody. I'm Mark Arrow with Doug Rice, high atop this beautiful racetrack. And, Doug, whatever happens today, it'll certainly be unpredictable. It's the Amp Energy 500. you got to think the fans are amped up, and so are the drivers. By the way, Talladega features the steepest banking in NASCAR, 33 degrees, making it an uphill battle all the way. The crowd's on its feet. The pace car's on dead road. The green flag is waving. Well, here we go. Green flag's out. And got 19 laps. We got up to a really good start. Now, the big thing is we have to worry about the two-car tango and all that sort of stuff. So, we got to try to block and hopefully this field spreads out or, or something. So, yeah, we got a lot of time here, though. So, we got we to gotta play our cards right. We can't let them, you know, pull away because they can two-car tango forever. And we really can't do that. So, that's a big disadvantage. But, hey, we got up to a very disgusting start. And I'm gonna try to keep it that way. It's actually Kyle Busch is reeling me in, but we'll just make a simple block in, in turn three, and that should be good enough. So, yeah, there he goes. He's in the map. He goes up high. We'll block. Ooh, he actually hit me. I'll give you that. Okay, Kyle, I'll give you that. That was pretty... He tried. Montoya now takes over second. Looks like he's gonna give me a shot, and he does. And are they gonna stop here in the tri-oval? Yep. Okay, thank you, thank you, Montoya. I appreciate it. Whoa, oh, what a block! All right, yeah, he caught back up. He got a hell of a run. And is he gonna stop here in the trioval? Nope, not this time. But somebody else behind me did. Oh, oh my God! Okay, don't want to do that anymore. That was that was almost certain death. I am absolutely pushing my luck here with the levels of blocking. And somehow, Goran just got shoved out of the way. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well, I mean, we're good for now, but, this, oof, man, they're, they're just all over. I'm afraid to let them go by because I don't know if they're going to do that, you know, forever two-car tango thing. So we're just going to keep it on the bottom here or just block on the outside, too. And put Montoya in the wall. That, that works, too. That was very mean. I'm sorry, Montoya. Oh, Harvick just stopped. That gains us a little bit of an advantage on the bottom. Stewart's just there chilling on the outside. He is a teammate. And there's a caution. That's a problem. Well, somebody must have stacked up in the trial. That's how usually all these cautions kind of happen. And it was Brad Kozlowski? Or, oh, my, Walter just, <laughs> he just ran him over. Oh, God, he just got clobbered in the back end. And Brad's dead. The only good thing is with this restart, we're gonna get a really good one, get like half a second lean, and then they'll catch me back up in like a lap. So, I mean, it's good. This this trims down the laps, and you can uh, yeah, get this race over with a little bit quicker. Yay, Truex is 16th. Nope, 17th. Don't know what's really going on back there, but we pulled away. I don't know if they're just stacking up in the the trial at like the worst time possible or what, but I mean. Good for ourselves, I guess. What's going on back there? It's hard to tell. But, yeah, they're just single file and then they stack up or something. I don't know what's going on, but, yeah, this is weird. Tony took over second again. Good for him. Time 
Oh, another yellow came out. Oh, and there's a car way on the inside. Oh, there's multiple cars on the inside. Don't hit the, don't hit the, don't hit the banking. All right, yeah, I don't know. This is a weird race. Somebody, yeah, it got stacked up. And oh, Jimmy, Jimmy and Kenseth wrecked, and that clipped Rudiment and Burton. Oh, 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 Truex got involved. Oh, guys, just. Oh, that's that's a big one. <laughs> that's the big one at Talladega. That sucked. I mean, it narrows the laps down, but. Man, we had like a two-second lead almost on them all. I don't... This is just weird. I don't... Well, we'll see if we can do this again, but... I don't know if we'll be that fortunate. Casey Kane is in third. That is that is incredible. Oh, Boyer and Kane are hooked up, and... We'll just simply make a block right there. There we go. Pretty simple. He didn't even try to make a move, but... Yeah, those two linked up, and they just pulled away from everybody behind me. So... As long as we block them, it shouldn't be that bad. But if they stop in the trial, though, that'll be really nice. I keep making that point a lot, but that's been saving us a lot in this race. So, yeah, and nobody else has really caught us, so we'll see. I mean, will they, will they stack up or... No? Okay, well, that's disappointing. Well, I guess I'll just keep blocking them for now. Two to go, and Kane and Boyer have not even attempted to make a pass. They, they're, they're just not trying. <laughs> oh, my God, you got to be kidding. Another yellow came out. I mean, I guess it's good for ourselves, but oof, I, I don't know. It's been a weird Talladega race. They normally don't wreck like this. And Truex just just ran over Logano, and Truex just wrecked. No, wait, no, he kept it going. Oof, man, this this has been just an awful. <laughs> oh my God, Logano's dead. Danica's dead. Yes, what a good day to be alive. Oh, thank you. Truex just killed two people. I. Oh, that's a good feeling. All right, that's a good day. That's a good day in my book. I don't care what happens now. Danica and Joey Logano got wrecked by Truex, pretty much. That's a good day. Well, it's basically green, white, checkered, and usually we're pretty good on a restart just because they just, they just don't know when to... They just don't really get lined up for a while, so I think we're good. <laughs> we might win this race. Oh, my God. Casey Kane and Boyer, they actually had a run. Kane's going to go up high. We'll block high. Block low. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was... It's okay. It's going to be a little bit tough. Okay, two lines of traffic. That's even more terrifying. All right, well, we've been in this position many times throughout the season. Boyer just stacks up both lanes. Thank you. Oh, that was beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted, I, I think. <laughs> I don't know. The white flag's out. Oh, my God. I swear, if we choke, I'm going to be really pissed. This has happened so many times. But Boyer's right there behind me. I don't know who's drafting him. But just them, it shouldn't be too hard just to make a block. There we go. Pretty self-explanatory kind of block. And I don't think there's any other cars be behind me that are going to catch up. So this is perfect. Go through three and four. Keep it on the bottom. I don't think there's any other cars drafting behind those two. So this is this is good. Off turn four, block up high, and yeah, I mean we're gonna be we're gonna be good. <laughs> Finally! Wait, wait a second. Just give a second. Okay. Okay. Finally! <laughs> Finally! Finally! A win at a restrictor play track in this game. God damn, that was great. That was a weird race. I tell you, that was a very bizarre, weird race, but we got it, and I could not be any freaking happier with that outcome. I almost died. I drank two celebratory. Okay. Newman wins. Good for him. He celebrates towards the fans. Good job. <coughs> That's our 15th win in a row. Boyer and Kane, second and third. We led, we led all the laps. That's incredible. Cowboys, six after starting second. McMurray and Vickers, who started outside the top 20, got top 10. Good for them. And Almendinger, 10th with Hamlin, 11th. Danica 13th after flipping over as well as Logano. Well, that's a bunch of shit. Truex got 15th. That's actually a pretty good point today. Burton didn't do well. Neither did Kurt Busch. I don't think I saw Montoya up there. Stewart didn't do well either. Gordon didn't either. Wow. Uh, yeah, Montoya got 29th. So Truex is going to gain some points. He might actually get into the top 10. I don't know. But we'll see. But, yeah. Uh, Kyle Busch moved up three spots. Good for him. Uh... A lot of spots change in this one. A lot of people finish weird, and Montoya lost the most. 
And Kane's ninth, Stewart's 10th, and Shurex is only 12 points out, so he has a ballpark chance of catching Stewart. That's cool. Anchor is last in the chase, that's funny. I don't think in real life in 2011 he did very well either, so that's kind of true to real life. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it was, uh, it was, it was good. On to Martinsville. So, yeah, after Dega, that was a, that was a damn good race. I don't think Martinsville can live up to that. That sounds kind of insane to think, but... Spring one wasn't too eventful except for that lap one incident, but yeah, 50 laps, very hard. Same settings and stuff as usual. Uh, who's on pole? Jimmy Johnson with a 1906. All right, well, let's just get into qualifying and see where we start, and hopefully it's on the inside line, because I would prefer that. Well, off turn four, kind of messed that up a little bit, and this one is actually, I mean, wait a I don't know. It went from like two tenths and a fifteen. Okay, fourteen. Well, that that kind of sucks. That's actually not that good. Usually, I can run a couple of tenths better in qualifying. So that is not at my peak greatness. That's scary. Truex tenth. Okay, well, I, I can live with that. Um, yeah, I can usually get like a nineteen two or three. So I should be around like fourth to six. Uh, yeah, I was not. That was not my. Well, but anyways, get to the brewery stuff and see if we can pull a miracle out of our ass. You know we're 14th. That's not actually not that bad, but I'm apparently making it that big of a deal. I don't know what's wrong with me. From the Blue Ridge Mountains in Virginia, Doug Rice and Mark Garrow, glad to be bringing you the action of the Tums Fast Relief 500 from Martinsville Speedway. And if there's one thing that upsets the stomachs of the other drivers here, it's Denny Hamlin and Jimmy Johnson, and they practically own Victory Lane. About the only other guys to break in lately, Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart. These races usually feature lots of caution flags and lots of on-track action. It's a battle of survival at Martinsville. Well, here we go. This race is about to be underway and green flags out. I don't know what I want to do here. I'm just going to try to take it easy. Tony Stewart's apparently not taking it easy. He doesn't give a shit. But, yeah, so far so good. We're just going to stay on the super duper outside line because you saw the smoke. I don't know what's going on. I, ow. I want to get to the bottom. I didn't mean to hit the wall there, but, you know, sometimes things just happen. Don't want to hit the curb too, because then that's going to mess up the suspension, and that's not going to be a good time. But that was honestly not too bad. I guess this is what it's always like back here in this game. I didn't really experience that in the spring race because I started like sixth, so it wasn't too bad. As I got now, I have rear rear quarter panel damage, and that pisses me off because my OCD is really going to bug me now. But really trying to take my time, and it's not quite working out. So we're just going to get by Harvey Burton, just perfectly slowed up right in front of him. So that was beautiful. We'll get to the inside of Kenseth and Truex trying to hit the curb at the same time. And there we go, beautiful. Now we got to set our sights on Truex. Dive bomb, I tried to dive bomb a little bit, it didn't really work out. But, yeah, so far Jimmy's taking lead still. Now we just got to find a way around Truex. And, well, thank you, look at that. He, he knew I was there, gave me room, I hit the curb, I don't want to do that. And now we're about to clear him. All right, there we go. Now we cleared him. All right. Now we gotta we gotta run down Rudiman up in front of me. Caught up to Rudiman. Gonna sneak it down the inside and take this position. Very nice. That was good. Gordon did a little wiggle off turn two. Like, well, we'll just take the spot there, I guess. I didn't think I would get that that soon, but it happened. Now I have to run down Kyle and Montoya. It does seem like we have a fast, like the fastest car. It just we just didn't have the best qualifying start, and that's what unfortunately is going to hurt me in my pride because now I'm not going to lead as much laps as I would that's that's how that's how high the bar is set that's how high the bar is set to the point where I'm going to get mad I don't lead as much laps as I probably should <laughs> but we just drove right around Kyle Busch now we're going to get to the inside of Montoya kind of take it a little bit easy in turn one didn't even stick it to the bottom that well and I think we made contact I'm not really sure but yeah there we go now we got to run down Kurt Busch and Jimmy Johnson, which is very awkward, because 2011, they had beef, so this is this is really uncomfortable. A few laps later, pretty much ran them down, now we just have to make these passes as efficiently as possible, as lap down traffic is going to become a factor here, so that's another like hurdle we're going to have to worry about in this race once we either get the lead or, or what, so. Got by Kurt Busch with not too much of a problem, now we just got to run down Jimmy. And yeah, it's just 
the qualifying laps, the, or the qualifying times to the race trim times is have at least with this game has always been really off because they can run like a 19.0 in qualifying, but then in the race trim they're running like 19.8. So yeah, this is weird. But yeah, you know, I mean we 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 caught up to them. Now we just got to make the pass on them. And lap traffic could be an issue here sooner or later. So we're just gonna. Okay, I didn't mean to hit him there, but we're gonna get the lead here though, which is which is good. And there we go, beautiful. Now we need to clear him. And that was kind of a bad. That was kind of shitty. Not a lot. It was a pretty bad way to you know, clear him, but or pass him. But we did it, and we're good. And I'll I'll see you all when lap traffic poses a very critical issue, which might be very soon if they're going to be racing side by side like that. Well over halfway through the race, and again, nothing too much has transpired. It's still just been me lapping people. The tires have really fallen off the face of the earth at this point, and I mean, we're getting, we're catching lap traffic, but for the most part, they've been just single file, so it's been really easy to, to get by them. Um, just, just not a whole lot happening, really. Two laps to go, and again, still not a whole lot has happened. Been lapping people, again, they've just been all single file, so it's just, it's not been that hard. To, to get around them, but my tires are really worn. I will say that much. It's been pretty crap. But at the same time, we've gapped to Jimmy to like a 14 second lead, and there's only almost going to be 16 cars on lead lap because we just doored Michael Waltrip a lot there. <laughs> my God, and our poor suspension got destroyed there, I think. But yeah, um, Jurex, who was I started 10th, is going to get 15th, so good, good day for him, I guess. Um, yeah, wow, our car's really beat up, but we won. It wasn't not it wasn't that exciting, but we at least had Talladega. That was amazing. So it's one for two, kind of. Newman once again celebrates with his back towards the fans. How ignorant! I don't know why Harry's celebrating towards. I guess to the front straight away or, or something. I don't know. It's just he, he just I don't know. He, he's he's really really dumb. We led 37 out of the 50 laps. Jimmy led the other 13, so good good for him. Montoya third, Kurt fit. Not too much changed in the uh, top 10. I mean, Vickers gained a couple spots, and so did... Go well, Actually, Gore lost a few, and so did Harvick, but... Not like, a, not like a crazy, dramatic drop. Stewart went from 16th to 11th, McMurray 18th to 12th, and Hamlin 13th. Yeah. Truex lost five spots. He was one of the few that dropped a good chunk. There's only, again, 69 lead lap and a bunch of people lap down. I don't think there was anyone that was two laps down, right? Nope. No, there, I don't think so. Nope. But yeah, it was just not a whole lot to really talk about. So uh, let's just uh, <laughs> let's just wrap this part up. I'm so stupid. I didn't even talk about the point standing. What is, what is wrong with me? Kyle Busch still in second. Jimmy uh, now 11 points back. Hamlet stayed in fourth. Burton dropped some. Gordon dropped some. Montoya gained some. Harvick stayed the same. Kane still chilling in ninth. That's cool. Truex now 16 points out of 10th as Stewart kind of has that comfortably in there as well as Kane in a way. That kind of rhymed. So, ninth to a... Actually, ninth through 12th could change still by quite a bit because they're, they're not separated by too much. Everything else is... That's the only points I, I'm excited about. <laughs> Some weird's going to have to happen at Texas and Phoenix for Truex to get in there. I just just hasn't been good enough. Next up is Texas and Phoenix, and those two tracks will win at pretty easily. Can we go, what, 16, 17, what, 19 in a row? Is that even, <laughs> oh my god, it's just sickening. We pretty much maxed out points as best as humanly possible. I think this is better than Heat 2 with our Cup Series season when we won 31 out of 30. It was a lot. It was a lot of races we won in that one. I don't know what we got here, but it's, it's comparable to that, which is about as sickening, if not more sickening. Big shout out to my tier three Patreon supporters, the Dale Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave Havener, Champ 15, Racing News Now, Alan Gray, Matthew Murray, and more support games for donation again. I can't ever thank guys enough for your contribution and support every single month like this. It does me a lot. And again, I'm very appreciated for it. I'll see you all next part for the penultimate finale of it. Well, pretty much, yeah, so. Well, we'll see how it goes. Maybe some wacky or weird or bizarre can happen. Or maybe Trucks can get 10th in the points. I don't know, in the next two races. I don't know, but we'll find out. That's it for me. I'll see you all in the next part, and I'll see you all later. And as always, 
Have a good day, everyone.